Hi folks, it's Mama B, and I've come to the last row of this blue, the net stitch. And on this last row, I just want to let you know that I dropped a stitch in each one of these chains. So there's only four. I like doing that because it kind of levels it off a little bit more. And that way, hey, we have a guest. It's Toki. He's going to help me this morning, I think. Anyway, so it, it makes it a a little bit flatter so you have more variety of stitch for your next stitch. So we're going to start with that. Um, I slip stitched this and tied the knot off and I just ended it right where I would have started the next row. And I'm going to start my next color, thank you Toki, with a crocheted uh, slip, or a slip knot. And we're just going to go right in there where we were. We're going to do single crochet, chain three, and then into the next knit, uh, chain, we're going to do a double crochet. Thank you for your help, Toki boy. Chain one, double crochet again in that same chain. I'm going to pull that out. I don't like how it's tying off, but we'll leave the blue in there. And then we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. We're going to drop down into the next chain with a single crochet. Chain one, two, three. And into the next chain, do two double crochets with a single crochet in between. So there's one, single crochet, double crochet again chain three. So it's going to be kind of a scalloped look, look and I'll hide that end later. And then I'm going to go down into the next one with a single crochet. Chain three. You can start to see the pattern. Two double crochets with a single crochet. There it is in between. And chain three. Two, three. Up, down, in, do a single crochet. That is our pattern. And we're just going to keep going all the way around with that pattern. Let's speed it up, shall we? Sometimes you just got to take time out to give this little boy scratches, you know. If you like Toki, you can watch more of his videos on the playlist, Toki Time. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of this row here. Let's see if we can clear this up a little bit. There. Coming to the end of this row, and as you can see, if I go down and do a single stitch in this chain, I won't have any room to make this, and then it'll be single stitch and single stitch, and it messes up the pattern. So what you have to do when you're freeforming is be able to fudge it just a little bit, be able to adjust. So we're going to slip, we're going to sneak in. Toki, they can't see anything when you're standing on top. Thank you. We're going to sleep, sneak in a single crochet right there at the end of that same chain. So we've got our double crochets and a single crochet in there. And that way we can continue our pattern. One, two, three, double crochet, chain, and double crochet. You're so helpful, Toki. He is a helpful, helpful bird. Okay, and then when we chain three, takes us back down into there, and we finish the row. And that gives it a little more flare, which it's better to have more than less when doing a skirt, because if it pulls it back in, it kind of makes it not great. And if it continues to flare a little bit, it'll just add to the flow of it, and it'll be awesome. Okay, so for our next stitch, we don't really want to be down here. 
So we're going to sneak our way up. And this is where I'm going to tie in that end. Toki, my helpful boy, come here. All right. This is where I'm going to work that end into because I can take it and just kind of slip stitch it in as I go. There's, because we don't want a real presence here to be obvious, we're just going to do a slip stitch. A single crochet it would make it really thick. So just a quick slip stitch all the way up that chain. And then it's just kind of a thicker chain. Slip stitch. And into here is where we want to go. Oh my goodness, I missed it completely. Oh well, doesn't matter. We will grab a needle at the end of this thing and just do it then. Okay, so now we're in here, we're going to do a single crochet. You see how that continues the pattern, keeps it nice and neat, and then we're going to do three crochets, three single crochets, and do a double crochet. Then we're going to do a chain and two double crochets again. We like that. Then we're going to do a single crochet, and then we're just going to skip into each of the double crochets. Toki, good helper. We're going to skip into each of the double crochets with the two double crochets, a chain, and two double crochets. That's going to be that row. So we'll chain one. Jump over there to the next double crochets set and chain. Or do two double crochets, a chain, two double crochets. Looking good, right? All right, well, we'll keep doing that. A chain, skip to the next double crochets, two double crochets, a chain, and two double crochets. And we're just going to speed it up from here. We're going to go all the way around and do that. Let's go. All right, we've come to the end of this row. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to slip stitch into that last one. Boom, just like that. That finishes off the row. Then we're going to slip stitch our way across, go into the, the center of the double crochets. So we got two on this side, two on this side, and we're going into the middle, and we're going to repeat this bottom row. So we're going to chain one, two, and three. Actually, we're going to chain four because then we've got to get that one in between and then a double crochet back into that same space. Now we're going to chain three, drop down into that. Now you can either go into that single crochet in between. That will hold the pattern fast. Or you can just go right in to the loop. That will be faster. So I'm into faster and easier. I'm going to do it that way. Plus that with this bulky yarn, I don't think it'll slip around much. So, chain three, double crochet into the center of the double crochets. Chain one, double crochet again. Chain three, right in between those two. Chain three, go in between the double crochets with the double crochet a chain and a double crochet. Chain three. Back down between the two sets of double crochet. Like that. This is your pattern. And you'll recognize it from this row. It's the same thing. Just zip that around. And then on your next row, 
to jump right up into there and you just stack that pattern right on top of itself. And you'll do this for as long as you like or until you run out of your thread and you're ready to change another color. In fact, if you want to change colors in the middle of it and you want to still do this stitch, you can do that. It's a nice thing about uh, freeform crochet. I'm doing it freehand. All right, so I'm just going to zip around through here. Okay, we're at the end of this row. We're chaining three, and we're going to slip stitch right into the top, that third chain of your first thing, comple completing the pattern. And then we're just going to single crochet into the between the two double crochets. Chain three, to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and another double crochet. Now we're starting this middle row, the second row pattern. It's the same thing, and this is a good one to end on. But do a chain and then double crochets into the next one into in between the double crochets so you'll want to end on this one if you can because it leaves you with a nice straight row and it makes it a lot easier to add on whatever your next stitch may be gives you more flexibility as far as that goes but this is this is it we'll finish out the colors thanks for watching our video and have a fantastic day.